Dear listeners, good morning and welcome to Comme d'Archi, the podcast that opens the doors to the fascinating world of architecture. For newcomers, let me introduce myself. I'm the spokesperson of Anne-Charlotte Despont, PhD in History of Architecture, published author, head of a communication and development agency based in Paris, France, dedicated to architecture. Let's meet every week to discuss culture and architecture with specialists and learn how to look at projects through a context and diversity lens. Thank you for being with me today, and now it's time for talent. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Hello, dear listeners. This is Esther on behalf of Anne-Charlotte. Today, let us continue the story of a captivating project, that of the Elikid Research and Development Center in Los Angeles. This story was written by the architect of the project, Michel Raymond, and you can find part one in last week's episode. Let me read to you. The Hall, the Rotunda. The entrance to the north against the light gives access to the large hall designed as a rotunda. This is the head of this heliotropy figure. Place of transition between the external environment and the research center, the rotunda is covered by a vast dome of 23 meters in diameter with a metal structure in grid shell. This dome seems to float more than six meters above the ground. The spiral pattern that composes its structure is intended as an allegory to the fluidity of gaseous matter, the core business of air liquid. It opens to the west on a water mirror and beyond on the rest of the industrial site organized in the park. The Auditorium From the hall, one entered the auditorium by slipping into the layered movement of the curves and counter-curves of the white concrete cells that enveloped the intimacy of the auditorium. Conceived like a salon with a chandelier, this 100-seat auditorium is panelled with beetroot strips to guarantee the acoustic quality of the exchanges between researchers. The Artery of Research The entire route from north to south is punctuated by a series of large parallel walls 75 cm thick and 13 meters high. Oriented east-west, they structure the depths of the space to be lived daily by researchers. The progression towards the south is thus materialized by crossing these large walls one after the other. The artery of research, which distributes the whole center, opens to the south of the hall after a controlled access. More than a simple circulation, it is designed to offer informal meeting spaces, places of relaxation and meeting rooms distributed all along its course. On either side of the hall, plugs alternate between the strips of offices in the west and the strips of laboratories in the east, like the black and white keys of a piano. Widely illuminated with nature light on both sides, the archery of research develops on three levels. It is punctuated by three monumental spiral staircases that make vertical relationships fluid. Full height voids favor visual interactions. It is the place of serendipity. It benefits from natural transverse ventilation through openings with adjustable glass slats in the facade. The laboratories. The facades of the laboratories of the research center are constituted by the extension of the large white concrete walls that organize the thickness of the space of the R&D center. Spread over two levels plus a double technical floor, they are broken down into 30 square meter cells that can be shared and totally modular, corresponding to the incessant evolution of the group's research needs. Between each pair of laboratories, giant vertical technical ducts are accessible from the outside and put the laboratories in easy contact with the fluid stored on the ground on the one hand and with the technical floor on the other. They guarantee total flexibility, which is necessary to meet the needs of research. The offices. The office floors are developed in front of the laboratories on three levels towards the west, towards the heart of the park. The 18-meter thick floors are open space to encourage the collaborative work sought by early kids management. Work bubbles punctuate the plateau to bring employees together. In the extension of the platforms, accessible terraces open to the west overlooking the garden. No cooling or air conditioning is provided in these offices. The north-south layout of the facades, a fixed protection of the south facades combined with a manual transverse natural ventilation system at night, guarantees the summer comfort. Two measurement campaigns carried out during two heat waves of the past summers show that at 4 p.m., with an outside temperature of 33 degrees Celsius, the inside temperature does not exceed 26 degrees Celsius. The essential forms. 
This realization concretizes several fundamental architectural themes of our architectural approach. Oriented architecture. Whether it is a function of the course of the sun or of urban spaces, the search for orientation allows us to situate our achievements in the world. The depth of the space and the thickness of the walls, which allow to materialize to compose rationally the specialities. The crossing of these thicknesses, the travel in this depth, which give the centrality of the movements of our body in space. Heliotropism, which allows to manage solar gains. The unity of place that gives meaning to space. Finally, this project approach at the border between the abstract figure and the contextualized form has helped us progress in our search for greater clarity in our architectural language, the essential forms. Those that will allow us to rationally compose and contextualize architectural space and to give it meaning. Thank you for listening part two of the Eliquid project. This was Esther for Anne-Charlotte. Let's meet again next week for a new episode in English. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to tune in to our previous content on Instagram at Comdarchi Podcast. If you like it, make sure to promote the podcast by giving it five stars on Apple Podcast and adding a comment or on any of your favorite podcast platforms. And don't forget to subscribe and listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon. And until then, take care of yourself.